Hello guys, you welcome back to my channel, Fun with Physics. In this lesson, we are going to consider voltage. It means at the end of the lesson, you should be able to know what voltage is. And you should be able to tell the voltage in a series circuit and in a parallel circuit. Now, voltage, the, the term voltage is something we've actually familiarized ourselves with in the previous lesson. So it's not new. But in this lesson, we want to critically look at it and understand it better. Now, we need to know that voltage can also be called potential difference. And potential difference or voltage is actually the work done when you move a positive charge from one point to another. Okay, in a second. Let's say I move a charge from one end of a circuit to another. How much work did I do? That's what we mean by potential energy, potential difference, okay? Or we can also look at it from this other angle. It's the energy supplied per unit charge. That is the energy supplied by the cell for one charge to carry to the, to the component in the circuit. So how much energy is supplied for one charge to carry throughout the circuit to any component in the circuit that's the voltage or potential difference okay so either way they say the same thing so we can say voltage v equals to work over charge or energy over charge either way is the same thing okay so um we actually need to consider batteries because they are actually the voltage provider in a circuit before we move ahead Circuit don't just work without a battery or cell. Batteries are very important and they come in different shape and sizes and different voltage. They store chemical energy which are transformed or transferred to electrical energy. So different batteries of course have different voltages. Okay? We have one of 1.5, we have 3 volts, we have 12 volts, so on and so forth. Okay? What's the meaning of the size of a voltage within the cell? Like what you have here, we have a 1.5 volt. What does it mean? What does it tell us? It tells us two things. Number one, the size of the volt written on the battery here tells us the amount of energy that is transferred by one charge to a component. It means that 1.5 volt implies that 1.5 joule of energy is transferred by one coulomb of charge to a component in the circuit transferred by one charge to a component so 1.5 joule energy is transferred by one charge to a component in the circuit also it tells us the amount of push or force the charge gets from the cell to move in the circuit okay so a 1.5 volt cell doesn't get as much push uh, as much push as a three volt cell. It means a three volt cell will give twice the push a 1.5 volt cell can give. This push is sometimes called electromotive force. Okay. So um, for the purpose of this lesson, I wouldn't go to uh, your your level. And this lesson, I wouldn't go to uh, deeper explanation of electromotive force okay but for now just know that is the push that the cell gives to a charge to move okay all right now what are the poles on a battery the positive sign in the battery shows where the potential is high or the voltage is high okay and the negative sign shows where the potential is low Okay, now the idea of potential, look at it from the height point of view. Something that is at a higher level, it's at high potential. Something at, at the lower, lo lower level, it's at low potential. Or you can look at it at energy point of view, stored energy point of view. Something at a high potential has higher energy. Something at a low potential has a lower energy. Okay, but you need to know that stuffs or Things will always want to move from the high level 
to the low level like you have a ball at the height it want to roll down due to gravity right the same thing applies to this case so charge we want to move from the high potential energy level to the low potential energy level at any time okay and the only way they can transfer is through a conductor if the end of the battery are connected by a wire that's a conductor a potential difference is created and the charge in the wire begins to flow from the high potential energy level to the low potential energy level anyway this may not make too much sense much sense to you but if you look at the tank model here it will give you exactly uh, the idea you need now look at this tank they are filled at the same level water doesn't flow from a to b but if a is um, the level of water is higher than that of b water gets to flow from a to b until both of them will get to a, a common point right so that's exactly what happens the charge flows from the high potential energy region to the low potential energy region until both of them come to a common point a neutral point if there is no potential then there will be no flow of charge okay now why do you think batteries need to, to be replaced after working for some time now this will explain this idea of this picture here will explain can you see that the charges flow from here back to here until everything is neutral did you notice it so once it's neutral you need to be replaced okay charge can only flow if it is not neutral but once it's neutral it needs replacement okay now what do we use to actually measure potential difference since potential difference is uh, the difference is a work done when one charge move from one end to another okay what instrument can I use these are the two instruments you can use a digital multimeter that you can adjust to suit what you want voltage or a voltmeter so any of this instrument can be connected not in series but in parallel in a circuit and the question is why do we have to connect it in parallel you have an idea any idea instead of connecting it in series why do you connect it between the two ends of this bulb guys we need to know the energy difference between one end and the other end you know like we said potential energy potential difference is actually the difference in energy between one point and another point right we need to know how much charge has moved from this point and have deposited energy and how much charge is here without energy so we need to know the difference the difference between when it has energy and when it doesn't have energy okay so that's why we connect it in parallel between the two ends to be able to tell the potential difference since we are actually trying to get the difference of potential the difference between the high and the low so a voltmeter, must, a voltmeter must be connected in parallel as it measures the potential difference across the components. The voltage of a battery or a cell is measured is the measure of the force or push it gives to the cell. Okay, I've already explained this as the electromotive force. Okay, so I, I can even emphasize that it's a charge produced, the the energy produced for a charge to carry through the circuit. Anyway. That's what we've explained already. Now, a one volt cell gives one joule of energy for each column of charge. Okay, we've already talked about this. Voltage in series circuit. In a series circuit, the voltage supplied by the battery is shared by the component. So the sum of the potential difference across the component equals the battery voltage. Okay, now if I'm to check the voltage in this bulb, I need to connect the voltmeter in parallel right the same thing applies to this if i'm to check the voltage in this one i need to connect the voltmeter in parallel this voltmeter will tell me the difference in potential energy between these two regions right or the voltage this one also will tell me with the voltage when i combine this one and this one it will give me the total voltage that is that is produced in this cell the total voltage this cell can give out 
okay so it, it goes a long way to tell me that the sum of these two voltage equal to the total voltage right as more bulbs are added in series the voltage has less potential difference and so the bulb become dimmer so when you keep adding more and more bulbs more less energy will be supplied to each of them and the bulb will be dimmer what we are selling is saying in a nutshell is this the energies if you have two bulbs the energy that this cell has will be shared simple if i have 1.5 volts they will be shared 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay that's why i said the potential will be different but when you sum them up the two energies will give you this one six volts will be shared to three volt three volts because you have two components when you have three components it will be shared two 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 volts are we good all right voltage or pd in a parallel circuit the voltage across each component connected in parallel circuit is the same so if i have this x and y connected in parallel and i decide to find out the voltage by connecting this the next will give me a better illustration connecting a voltmeter to the bulb another voltmeter to the bulb and we discovered that the voltage here is the same thing as the voltage here is the same thing as the voltage here the reason is because a parallel connection is similar to a connection that is direct to the battery so they get to use the same amount of energy each of the loop each of the wire or each of the item get to use the same amount of energy it's similar to a connection connected directly to the to the cell okay so this one here gets the same amount of voltage if i have six volts the bulb here will get the same amount of voltage this one so when i keep adding more and more bulbs each of them will still have the same voltage the only difference is that between this one and the other one is that the battery will quickly run uh, become flat or run out or run down as the case may be okay, but the voltage the energy supplied will be the same for parallel circuits and the brightness of the lamp will be the same it won't get dimmer like what we have in this arrangement okay here the energy is shared so it will keep getting dimmer the more you add more items but in this case, since it's the same energy supplied to each of them, the bulb will remain the same to get dimmer, okay? Are we good? However, this also means that the battery will run down faster in a parallel circuit. We've said that. Now, what's the advantage of connecting two lamps in parallel rather than in series? Okay, we have a lot of advantage. One of the advantages, the lamps are brighter than when connected in series. The lamps are controlled by individual switches so on one lamp will continue work to work if the other lamp does not okay so these are some of the advantage in a series circuit all the components can be controlled by using just one switch like what you have here close the switch the two lamps will light up each component shares the voltage of the power supply and so adding more bulbs in the series will cause the bulb to become dimmer and dimmer okay if one bulb dies of course you've broken the circuit the other bulb will not light so when one bulb goes off or breaks the other one will not light when you keep adding more bulbs it become dimmer dimmer remove to become brighter in parallel circuits all the components are individually controlled using a separate switch which we've discussed before and the brightness is the same thing if one bulb dies the other one can still keep working summary the summary of current and voltage in parallel and series circuit for a series circuit the current is the same same current flows through but the voltage is shared for, for parallel circuits the current is shared or splits into two parts two or more parts depending but the voltage is the same okay now guys uh we've seen this case of parallel and series 
Uh, the next is we can briefly look at the investigation. You want to test and see exactly what will happen with a meter or no meter. So let's see with a meter connected in series. Let's double the cell. Let's use a single bulb. It lights two volts. But when I double the bulb, it gets to be shared, right? The voltage, four volts here get to be shared two, two, but the current is the same. Can you notice that the current is the same? But the volts get to be shared. The voltage, the energy supplied here and the energy supplied here get to be shared. When I make it three cells, uh, that's a battery. Uh, I have six, so we, it gets to be shared six, six. But the current flowing is the same throughout. Okay? Notice what will happen to the current when you reduce the cell. Okay, what will happen to the current when you reduce the cell? Let's see how the current will be affected when you reduce the cell. Of course, it's going to decrease. Okay, let's see how it's going to be affected when you reduce the lamp. Of course, it's going to increase. So, with more lamps, it will be halved. Did you notice it? Now, this is what we have been explaining all those why. Now, investigating parallel circuit, let's see what will happen when I have two bulbs in parallel and I decided to switch it on, okay, with meter. Now, notice that the current here is being shared, is branched into 0 0.3, 0 0.3, but the voltage, 2 volt, 2 volt is the same. Now, even if I make the, 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 lab, the bulbs 3, the voltage will still be the same, but the current will be shared. Okay, the voltage is 2 volt, 2 volt, 2 volt, but the current, which is 0 0.9 amps, becomes is shared. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, which comes out here as 0 0.9. Guys, I want you guys to leave your comment in the comment section, okay? Try this. You have a brief. You can pause this video at this stage and see what you can do. With this, these are some of the words you can select. Okay, try it. In case you have any problem, leave your comment in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe. Okay, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.